right now tracking tropical storm Ida. This is not a threat for South Florida, but right now it is bringing some heavy rain and gusty winds and the potential for uh, flash flooding across the Cayman Islands and Cuba due to all of that moisture. And as we look at the latest advisory, Ida is moving to the northwest at 15 miles an hour. Max is seeing winds of 45 miles an hour. It's actually strengthened as the center is passing over the Cayman Islands and forecast to move over western Cuba later today as a tropical storm and hence tropical storm warnings are in place there and for the Cayman Islands and Ida is then expected to move into the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico and will increase in strength becoming a category one hurricane heading into tomorrow and then unfortunately as of this morning the hurricane center is now expecting it'll become a major category three dangerous hurricane headed towards the northern Gulf Coast as we head into Sunday afternoon right now the center is forecast to move into Louisiana around this area along the North Gulf Coast. So you'll be seeing the potential for a life threatening storm surge as well as heavy rain and gusty winds and of course hurricane conditions expected and hence a hurricane watch has been issued from the coastal areas of Louisiana through the Mississippi Alabama border and then stretching into the Florida Alabama border tropical storm watch there. The reason that it's not headed here is because we have this high pressure system that's blocking it and steering it away from South Florida away from our state and pushing it towards the northern Gulf Coast.